good evening it's Monday evening and I quickly um, head out to buy kebab that is because I didn't have like a very good day towards the ending part of today but I'm gonna show you guys what the kebab looks like when I get to the dome and also I'm also gonna show you guys this winter jacket that I love so much when I get to the dome so I decided to take a walk to get the kebab rather than ordering it right just so like I can ease up like my myself I can just take a walk and just like feel good because I have exams tomorrow right so and I was just thinking that sometimes as human or as a human being generally we focus on things that are not coming things that we want that are not coming and then we like we let's concentrate on the things that we want that we've gotten or that has already come right so what i'm trying to say is i was just thinking out loud that like i said i didn't have like a very good day towards the ending part of today and coming back from getting kebab i was just like you know thinking about what happened how down it was or how i feel and then something just came to my mind that okay you are trusting God for this and then it doesn't come or you get disappointed right have you thought about this that you have have you also thought about this that you have have you also thought about this that you have like like I think you should just focus on being grateful for this this and this that you have rather than concentrating on what you don't have and i remember like i was telling my friend today that you know i feel so bad because for an example like i feel so bad because oh i got a rejection from a job interview that really really like made me feel bad this evening and my friend was like okay it's okay for you to feel bad it's okay because you are trusting god for your job and then you don't have a job it's okay to feel disappointed but have you also thought about the fact that a lot of people just like you also applied for this same visa and they got denied have you also thought about the fact that a lot of people uh -uh, look at how bright it is here have you also thought about the fact that a lot of people just like you applied for this same admission in this same school you know and they didn't get admission have you also thought about the fact that a lot of people applied to the same embassy for interview submitted like even the same documents or maybe their documents were even like better than yours or maybe like they did well in the embassy interview better than you or maybe even the same rate but you got chosen and you got rejected have you also thought about the fact that some people have been applying and they've been getting denied like over and over and over again have you thought about the fact that some people got denied and you know like they stopped the process because the denial was much or maybe they didn't have the finances to even travel out have you thought about the fact that some people like want to travel they want to relocate but they don't have the money not like you do something better not like of course they do more than you or they even put in more effort but they don't have the resources to even travel out but you did you know you put food by yourself you sponsored yourself you are feeding yourself you are paying bills by yourself you are paying school fees by yourself you are feeding yourself and paying accommodation by myself like have you thought about the fact that it is just god who is providing for me and not because i am very good at what i do because come on i'm not the best in whatever it is that i do as a source of income you know fine i got rejected for a job fine i feel so bad i you know it's really weakened me that was i had to go and get kebab Is it? <laughs> so you know like i feel so bad i feel so rejected i feel like what have i done you know even like the interview process and all but it's okay to feel bad about that but come on a lot of people want to travel 
just like you and they don't have the money some even have people who are sponsoring them but they don't still have it some even finally pulled through the resources they got to the embassy they got denied some people are stranded you know the other time i remember like i remember like the other time i was going to um i remember like the other time i was going out you know and then i i, I can't say like i don't know how, i don't know the english to use so that i don't use a word that sounds somehow i remember like the other time i was going out and let me just say unfortunately or maybe fortunately because god wanted me to see that part of life and then i saw two people eating from the dormitory waste bin like not just a private waste bin now like you know like the whole dormitory waste bin i saw two people eating from the waste bin and this is because normally i'm to use like an elevator but sometimes i just use staircase most of the time actually and maybe because my room is on the fifth floor so i just prefer to use elevator and i prefer to use staircase and you know just get get out of where i'm going to and i remember like i saw two black two whites eating from the waste bin not just a private waste bin a general dormitory waste bin and i stood there for about 10 to 15 minutes and i was just staring at them young guys you know and at that moment i was just like god i'm grateful i've never for once never for once be stranded like i think that is something that maybe this is a testimony not maybe this is actually a testimony i've never for once been stranded in this country like i've never for once been stranded that i don't have food to eat that i don't have at least a dollar with me i've never for once been stranded it's been it's been over a year this january makes it one year so i've spent like a year and some weeks here and i've never for once a single day be stranded i've never for once felt like god has left me god has forsaken me i've never for once felt like i don't have money to eat you know like i'm so broke that i have to beg for food or i have to beg for where to sleep i've never been in that position you know i think i should just stay here and wrap up this vlog because of the lights you know so that you guys can see me i've never for once been stranded or let me just keep walking i've never for once been stranded not because i am more hard working not because i know how to do it it is just god you know like and then i remember like i saw those guys eating from the bin and i was like god this could be me like it's <laughs> this could be me but you always show up for me even the fact that oh i'm sponsoring myself i'm feeding myself i'm doing things by myself i've never had the opportunity or the cost to even beg for food talk less about eating from the waste bin like general dormitory waste bin you can imagine how disgusting it could be like you can imagine how disgusting it could be and i was just i was so down because of the job um rejection that i got this evening i was so down i actually cried by the way <laughs> and i just went to get kebab you can see it's actually late i'm just walking down to get kebab and you know things like this just keeps coming to my brain like be thankful be thankful because you've never had cause to beg you've never had cause to go hungry you've never had cause to be you know to be sick to be down you've never had cause for any of those things like these are people who are even white i don't know what country they are from but they are white and they are begging they are eating from the waste bin and you've never had cause to go a night without eating and i'm so grateful for that like i'm so so grateful for that you know i was just thinking about it and i was like sometimes as women we focus on things that we are trusting god for things that we are praying for that has not come and then we forget about things that god is doing or god has done that that we actually need to be grateful for you know and then i was just like oh i got denied i got rejection for a job and my mind was just going through all of this and then my mind was like you got denied but 
you always eat there's always money you you have a business people always reach out to you to sew you always make dresses for people in a month there's always somebody to say oh i need to make this dress not because you know how to sew it's because god just used that to keep providing for you you know you can actually have you can actually have a job some people have jobs and they are stranded but you don't have you are never stranded your business people keep reaching out to you and your business is growing i think we should i'm talking to myself now i don't know how this vlog is going to be but i'm just grateful to god i'm just grateful i know that we have every cause to complain about things things that we want that is not come but hold up hold on hold up on it and think about the things that god has done you know that there are people who are praying for that thing that you have seriously so anyways that is just my little i don't know what to call it because that is those are the things that are going on in my head like i'm so grateful i've never had cause to beg i've never had cause to be stranded i know i don't have a job i'm rejected i got rejection today but hold up god is still faithful people are still looking for admission people are still applying to get visas people are still getting denied people are still stranded people still have jobs and they're stranded but you don't have and god is faithful like anyways <sighs> that's just how i feel this evening and thank god i came out with my camera by the way i just said let me just share this i came out with my camera like randomly like okay i might just show you guys the kebab but coming back pondering on things that happened this evening and things going through my mind i just decided to share this because let's just be grateful let's just be grateful so i have exams tomorrow and honestly i've not read i need to eat my kebab as dinner and focus on my book that is so important also it's also like an important part of my life at this moment so this is what this winter jacket looks like it's actually very long i don't look like it's actually very long and it's also free sometimes especially in the evening i just want something very free like not something tied to the body and i really really love how free this is yes, and also how long the winter jacket is so i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away good morning guys how are you guys doing it's a beautiful monday morning and today we have exams so this is our third semester this is my third semester and the first exam literally not the first exam because there's this course that we've done the exam like i think about a month or two but when we're done with the scheme of work with the course outline we just did the exam for that course so i think that is the only course that we've done the exam literally right so but this week and the next week we have exams back to back so we have exams on monday today we have exam on tuesday on friday upper monday and also on vows day so basically this is like my third semester exam um yeah we are almost we are almost done anyways just to catch up on you guys i didn't post a video yesterday i usually upload every sunday but i couldn't post a video yesterday because i wanted to post a sewing tutorial video and in the process of editing i just found out that <laughs> i didn't complete the video right i didn't do like the i didn't show a particular place towards the ending and i just felt like it, it doesn't make sense uploading it so um uh, this week i'll find out like time to film or to, to create content for the ending part and then upload the video on sunday which is going to be this sunday 
so my exams today because we had the exam by 8 a.m in the morning and then i have class by 11 and i'm actually presenting today one thing also is like for an example let me use like my school or maybe nigeria or africa generally is that when it's exam seasons like this there are no classes because um we usually have like a week lecture free week where okay for this week there was no exams and then next week you start your exams but it is not the same here because we have a we had exam eight o'clock and then we still have classes by 11 tomorrow we have exam by 9 45 and then we also have a class like but not for the same course literally not for the same course like so you can have exam for course a and then classes of maybe course b c d is still going on it's it's somehow but i think that's just like the difference in terms of like academics and all of that but <sighs> we'll keep pushing going to class can be a bit interesting but exams makes it <laughs> I don't know what to say maybe exam makes it difficult or exam just makes you get out of going to class because that is when you literally have to like read and then assess yourself if this whole month maybe three to four months of going to class if you actually did anything and if you actually learned like if there's anything you actually learned or anything but that is just it last week I couldn't vlog I, I couldn't vlog last week because everything was just happening at the same time I, and I feel like okay this is just a question and i need you guys like opinion and suggestion on maybe the kind of content you want me to create right i really need to know like the kind of content you really want to see because i think i'm getting to that point where my life is getting boring not like it's getting boring i feel like i just have a routine like oh from school i get back home i'm either sewing or i'm editing or i'm watching a movie then i have to cook then um back to maybe classes or something and then the day is gone i feel like my life is just like a square shape like there's no um so much activities going on and also because i've really not been going out like i don't know maybe because there's nothing to do or maybe it's just me that is not just going out and also with the fact that this is exam period so and then i have my thesis that i have to try as much as possible to get done see don't even let me start talking about thesis because my thesis is still far like but anyways we are graduating in june july by god's grace and before then i have to get it done that's it that is it so but i don't know if you have like any kind of content you want me to create or anything you want to see i can just do that and that is basically all so for this week um i have two dresses see let me tell you guys something let's just talk about like sewing right i feel like posting or leveraging on social media if you're a business person if you're an entrepreneur it is something that is inevitable in this season and this time however you have to determine which of the social media platform is something that you can really do right and that is why i feel like um we have youtube we have facebook we have instagram we have tiktok we have twitter i think those are like the five basic ones we have snapchat but i don't know if people use snapchat for business i'm not on snapchat personally so i don't know but i'm going to talk about like these five basic ones i feel like it's something that if you want to venture into like business or maybe like anything maybe like business entrepreneurship or something you have to leverage on social media like that is where that is where you might find your potential clients i don't know how to say this but that is how or where you you will definitely find your potential clients and it also like takes you away from your vicinity like you are not limited so i'm basically in poland and like it takes you away from poland it takes you away from your city it takes you away from your streets like you start meeting people in like different part of the world i don't know if if you guys understand what i'm trying to say but anyway this is just a sign that you should do that so another update that happened last week is my tiktok accounts i got banned on tiktok i don't know why and funny enough funny enough early this year i 
opened a new tiktok account i just felt like oh i need to open a new tiktok account so that i can start posting my previous tiktok had about maybe 300 and something followers i wasn't consistent so i was like oh i need to open another tiktok account early this year so i opened like another account i had two accounts right and then i think about a week later i got banned on the old one like the old one that i was just like mm, let me just create another one i don't like how this looks and that my tiktok is actually like doing so well not so well but i think i like the engagement the engagements are high and then i get a lot of comments so this is just a sign that you should follow me on tiktok i still remain the same tg designs on tiktok tg designs on instagram on facebook the same and do t g design so my agenda for today is after class i have presentation i'm presenting today so after class i have to get ready by reading for the exams we have tomorrow and that exam is something that i cannot explain it i cannot explain it because <clears throat> don't let me say the because i cannot explain it because number one we don't have material we are expected to write during the classes and then read and some of us don't write in class so <laughs> that's the repercussion that's the repercussion of it and also i also have two dresses i'm working on um this week i i, I will definitely like start sewing it let me show you guys the pattern i'm sure you guys are definitely going to love the fabric so uh anyways i've cut this but i'll just show you guys like the pattern of the fabric and i'm sure you guys are going to love it okay can you see how cute this fabric is and also because fabrics are available you can either get like your fabrics or you can get like your dresses from us the link to the website is always in the description box so when i'm sewing tomorrow i'll definitely show you guys because i have to read after the exams tomorrow which is on tuesday and then i have exams on friday so i think i can use tuesday and wednesday to you know fit in somewhere to sew before friday so that's just basically the quick hi guys um tuesday morning and i'm done with my exams and apart from that i also had like a class today and that is one thing like it's actually different you're having exams for another class and then you still have lectures so i had one lecture now and i have another one by 11 by one so i have break in between about one hour break so i'm heading out to the fabric store to pick up fabrics to make very beautiful african dresses for the most wonderful customers in the world then after that i will quickly add um to the grocery store to pick up something very simple i kind of like have a list of what i want to buy so i'm definitely not going to stay long at the grocery store so that is basically what i'm going to do and of course we are going to do that together so let's go
So go to the gym. So. And of course you have to smell nice when you are going to the gym. I have this. I'll just... So with this cap and then this so bye fast I need to catch my breath okay I'm so tired guys see the way I'm breathing fast it was a successful gym day today I feel so good getting back on track and at least just sweating the fact that I can't sweat this morning that is snowing it's actually snowing outside so the fact that so you can see it's actually snowing outside so you can know how cold the weather is the weather is around i think minus 14 or thereabouts which is actually very cold the fact that i'm able to sweat in this minus 14 is something because whew, i need to catch my breath the fact that i'm able to sweat in this cold weather it's a whole lot like it's a whole lot i didn't do much but i think it's not about like how many you're able to do but just being fit and making sure that you get yourself into the system i think that's what is important and also do you measure the effectiveness of fitness or gym by how you sweat during the process of exercise let me know what you think about it in the comment section do you measure the process of fitness by how you sweat like is it on to where you are sweating that you feel like okay this exercise really work or like what is your measure for fitness basically so anyways i need to get to the room rest a little bit and then start working on my presentation i have one presentation next week so i need to work on the um, powerpoint today and also i need to edit a video maybe a sewing tutorial or this video i don't know when i get to the room i'll be able to know which of the video will come up on sunday which is tomorrow and if you haven't subscribed to my video what are you waiting for please click on that subscribe button don't forget to like share and subscribe let me know the kind of content you would love to see in the comment section or any kind of video you want me to create in the comment section i'll catch up with you guys later